Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of React Component Library. And today we'll be adding an icon to our input component. So in case your use case have a need of an icon, we can you can use this method. Okay, so we'll be using React, compo um, React icons. So npm install React icons. Okay, so it's installed here. Okay, so now we will be adding the icon here. So I will remove this, wrap it in a div. Then I'll give. Okay, let's start our project so that we will see what is happening. So we'll say npm start. Okay, so it's running. So this is where we left. Okay, so we'll give class to this div. We say it should be relative, and that's all. Okay, so we will need the icons. We'll pass the icons as props. So we need left icon or icon left, and we also need one for right. Okay, whichever one you need, you can add it. Okay. So we just want to render it if it only exists. So if we have the re um, left icon, then we render it. If we don't have it, then there's no need. Okay, so we'll wrap it in a div, then just render the icon that we'll send as a prop. Okay, so let's give some classes. We want it to be absolute because the parent is relative and we want insert y to be zero we want the left to be zero to position it to the left it should be flex item should be in center and we want to give a pattern left of three and we want to disable the pointer event so the pointer events to none okay so now we can go here and then come to where our form is and send the icon as a prop here so as i said we'll be using red icon so you can just go to their website and search for the icons i have one ready so i'll just bring them here so here i'll say left icon then i'll pass it as a component here so md email okay then I close it make sure you import it at the top here so import md email from that icon slash icon slash md okay fine beautiful so if we save it So now, beautiful. Now we have the icon here. Okay, so we can give a color. And we want it to be hash 666, this gray color. Okay. Okay, so now we've been able to add the icon to the left of our input component. Let us make some few changes to this input. So let's change this to dynamic template string. So we'll change it to backtick instead of single quotation. Now when we click on submit and there are errors, we want to give a border color of red to draw the user's attention. The user attention. Okay. So we'll just add conditions here. Say dollar bracket if error exists we want the border color to be red 600 else if there's no error we just want to show the default one of gray 300 okay so now you see that we have error here so if i 
change this click now this will draw the user's attention okay okay so now let's give some space between the icon and the input test so we'll give them um, we'll say that if the icon exists that's the left icon exists that's where we add pattern left of 10. okay if it doesn't exist there's no need to add pattern left okay so now it's working beautiful okay so now let's add the icons to this side so i'll copy this add it to the name and change this to fa yes alt user so i'll import it here import and i'll fa user alt from fa okay good so if i save it i should here now i think the icon is big to so change the size the size to 14 okay beautiful so you see how simple it is to add icons so we can copy it i mean du duplicate it to the password and changes to bs field So we'll just duplicate this and change it. BS field shield lock. Okay, you can use any icon you want. And that's also here. Now we can also add icon to right because um, we may want to toggle the password. So we'll just copy this and bring it down the input component inside the same div. Okay, and just changes to right, right icon, and instead of the left, we'll just change them to right, yes, right, and uh, this one, instead of pattern left to pattern right, okay, now this time we want it to be clickable, so we'll see Kelsa dash pointer, because we want to when we click on it, we want to show the password as well as disable show password. Okay, so we just render the right, um, I mean right icon. Okay. So now let's go here and pass it as a prop. Okay, so in our use case we'll just add the icon right to the password so i will just paste this and uh, tell you what is happening here so i'll bring the icons also so i'll import it from ai right icons dash ai okay now i have a use state known as show password and set show password so I'll use this to toggle the password, whether to show it or not. Okay, so when the show password is true, we want to show this icon. And when it is false, we show a different icon. There's also a function to change the state. And this function, I hope you know it already if you watched the previous tutorials. Okay, so if I click on it, it should show. Now, we should also change the type on the basis of the state. So if show password is true, we want to show it as a test. And if it's false, we show it as password. So if I click on it, then it changes to test. Okay, it's working fine. Okay, so beautiful. So now let's duplicate it and add... Um, mobile number or contact change this to contact okay we create a state for it contact and set contact um change this to contact and this to set contact this also to contact 
and an error of contact. Okay. Now add an error of contact. Okay. Now we have a small validation here. We just want to check the length. If it's greater than nine, you can do anything you want. We just want to show an error message here. Okay. So if so, you see that we did not add an icon. So we can choose to add icons or not add it. Now this is a reusable. So if you don't add an icon, no problem. If you add it also, fine. And I think this is a good practice. So you see this is without an icon. Beautiful. Okay. So in our next tutorial, we will create this simple button and use it to create um, a login form and a sign up form from scratch. Thank you for watching.